In this tutorial, I will show you how to synchronize the rhizome in Ableton Live installed in the rhizome system. I previously installed MIDI Yoke. You can find and download this software at the address below. Once installed, I configured it to the rhizome side MIDI Yoke 2 in Active with Synchro. as well as MIDI Yoke 1 out active with Synchro. I configured the in and out in Ableton the complete opposite way. By going here in the preferences, we can see that I activated the in 1 in synchronization and the out 2 in synchronization. This way, we have the OUT2 link to the IN1 of the rhizome, and vice versa. So for Ableton to be the secondary, all you have to do is push here on External. As we can see, I push Play on the rhizome. Both of them start simultaneously. One particular feature in the system allows you to regulate your synchronization to the click track. As you can hear, I move the delay. If I come back to zero, we can hear that I'm getting closer and closer to Ableton. I'm happy with both. If we listen, I will add other sounds, for example drums to this pattern. With the help of my external screen, I start Ableton. We can see that the second pattern always stays perfectly in sync. Synchronization is also possible the other way around. I can very well put Ableton as the master clock. On the rhizome, I select the line here by pushing the encoder and set it to external. In this case, when I click on play in Ableton Live, it starts the rhizome simultaneously. As we can hear, we also have some delay. Once again, inside the rhizome interface, we can go here and add five delays. For example, I start one at negative 17. We can hear it, and I shift completely going forward on the click track. This value seems to be perfect for the synchronization. I push stop on the rhizome again. This stops the rhizome completely, but Ableton continues. I started by plugging in my USB MIDI keyboard. I will now have to configure it in order to use it on this loop I previously programmed. I want a bass sound, which is loaded right here. I open the MIDI configuration window. Here, we can see all my MIDI in and out peripherals. I will now go activate the three remote SLs, which is my controller's default name. I can also decide to say that they directly control the performance. Now that my MIDI peripheral is loaded, I have my keyboard right here, and we can see that when I play it, this is a direct action. If I change the MIDI in here, it stops working, so I get back to a remote SL. 
I will now record a bass. I quantize it. It's simple. It's what we do every time. Now a few examples of what can also be done with the MIDI controller. For the mixer environment, this works for all parameters. We can also assign a MIDI controller as well. To do so, push Shift, User 1, and rotate the encoder corresponding to the desired parameter. Then I rotate my controller. Here I assign the controller number 5. We can see that when I move the controller, the volume moves as well. Here it's my kick. Note that if I add an automation, as we've seen in the previous tutorial, any and all movement will be recorded. If I move or change any parameter while it plays, this movement will be recorded. That's it for the general use of external MIDI control. I will now explain how to synchronize and use other types of external devices. Here I plugged in a drum machine. I am using the rhizome as a mixing console. I plug the master on the ins 3 and 4 of the rhizome directly and plug the MIDI in from the drum machine to the MIDI out number 1 of the rhizome. There are three of them on the SXE. Now I will go to the configuration panel. I browse through my different ports and will select the Marion Trace 8 MIDI number 1 and activate it. Here I am sending the signal, but I would also like to send a synchro signal, so I activate synchro. The third parameter allows me to adjust and refine if I had any shifts in the synchronization. Again, you just rotate the encoder to refine and regulate your synchronization to the click track. I close the drum machine. It can play directly like this, or be used through the rhizome interface like this. Now I can start other patterns from the rhizome. Same thing directly from my drum machine. Since we configured it, we can also use the drum machine as a simple sound generator. Here I'm going to turn the synchro off and create a new track on this pattern. I'm not going to set the instrument synthesizer, but instead, I'm going to tell this track to go directly to MIDI port 1 on the trace. When I use the keyboard, we hear the drum machine, which means I am actually sequencing the drum machine. We can actually see it directly on the drum machine. Here I will do the same, and once again, we hear that we are playing the different drum machine sounds. 